Hey, what is up guys? Gemini Jets 10 here and I am back with another Gemini Jets airport update of Austin Zeppelin International Airport. Um, just a couple things right off the bat guys. This is going to be the last airport update for like probably two weeks. Uh, just because I'm going on spring break next week and uh, actually tomorrow my dad is picking me up and my airport is at my mom's house. So um, my dad's picking me up and I'm going to be spending the entire spring break with him. And I'm going to Missouri as well, so uh, sadly you guys won't see any videos, so I need to get this airport update out. In other news, uh, the hangers have changed from American Airlines to Delta Airlines. Uh, that kind of hit me since it was, since I know Delta will be the primary hub airline at AZIA. I decided it would be appropriate to switch the hangers from American Airlines to Delta, so... Pretty much, I removed the American Airlines logos, and they are now Delta Airlines hangers. Uh, also, KLM uh, will use them in an emergency, along with Air France. Uh, wink, wink. But, yeah. So, that actually leads us right into the airport update. By the way, this airport update does contain subscriber routes. Yes, there is. This is a subscriber routes update. So, that leads us right here into the beginning of the update. Right here, we have a KLM... Uh, by the way, this is an afternoon update, so uh, international terminal area is just packed full of uh, aircraft. But anyways, early early afternoon, by the way, so aircraft are arriving in or have just arrived in. So right here we have an American American. Right here we have a KLM Airbus A330-200. This aircraft came in this morning from Amsterdam and had to go in for emergency maintenance as they did have. Uh, they did experience a fire in one of the rear laboratories. A passenger had uh, covered up the smoke detectors in the laboratory with duct tape and had smoked a cigarette, and then put the fire in the trash can, er, and then put the cigarette in the trash can, which caused a fire. So the aircraft had to come in for emergency maintenance to get that fixed. Um, they were able to land safely here at AZIA. They were on. Uh, they were in the last about hour, so they landed safely here, and the aircraft had to go in for emergency maintenance to get that fixed. And it is just resting here until this evening when it will head back out to Amsterdam. The near-body Delta hangar is empty. In the wide-body Delta hangar, we have the Delta Airbus A330-300. This aircraft came in from Honolulu uh, on a domestic flight, and it just came in for some routine maintenance. Uh, it came in early this morning at about 3.30 a.m., and this evening it will make a flight out to Amsterdam in, com in competition with the KLM flight. Ramps are empty at the cargo terminal. We have a UPS Boeing 747-400, which arrived in about... Uh, which arrived in about two and a half hours ago from Anchorage. Uh, its original destination was in... Uh, was uh, Let's say this or this aircraft's original destination was Hong Kong, stopped in Amsterdam, then came here. And it is loading with freight for Louisville. As you can see, the first kind of little cargo uh, tug is coming to the aircraft. The lift has raised is raised to the back door, and there is also the stair truck pulled up. And sorry for any background noise, guys. I am running my washer and dryer being towed onto taxiway echo we have a delta boeing md90 or boeing md88 sorry this aircraft came in from atlanta or from somerset county international airport or nick glinos's airport and is just going to head over to the hangar for some routine maintenance and this evening it will head back out to somerset county international airport Taxiing down Charlie towards the regional terminal, we have an American Eagle uh, CRJ-200. Wait, this is a... Yes, this is a CRJ-200. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this aircraft came in from... I think I have a road on this aircraft. Hold on. Mm, nope, I do not. Okay, so this aircraft is coming in from Lubbock. Uh, which is a city in Texas, by the way. I will be right back, guys. I need to do something real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I realized there was an aircraft on my shelf that I needed to put on my table. Um, 
and that was the Southwest Truck Crown one. But anyways, so in other news, uh, the terminals have actually changed. So these four gates right here with the jet bridges are all for low-cost airlines at the moment. They will most likely expand down. Um, but this is the gate arrangement that exists right now. So these four gates are low-cost airlines, which at the moment is only Southwest and Allegiant, but when models, uh, when I get models, it would, uh, Spirit and Frontier will also join in here. And then Delta primarily has the rest of this side of Concourse C, and American and United Airlines both split this side of Concourse C. Most likely, Delta will eventually hold this entire side, and American and United will move over here, taking over the Delta gates. But for right now, uh, that's how the terminal arrangement is. I switched that around uh, just a little bit. So anyways, we're here. We have an Allegiant Boeing MD-83. Uh, this aircraft is preparing for a flight f out to Burlington, Central Carolina, or Citrus Aviation's airport. Southwest Boeing 737-700 in the Canyon Blue Library uh, with Southwest.com winglets. This beautiful aircraft is going to be heading out to Central Texas International Airport, came in from Midway, and the Allegiant came in from Orlando. It is going to Burlington, Central Carolina. Right here we have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Triple Crown 1 Library. It is pulling into gate from... Northern Maine International Airport or Delta Flyer 24 Leidens Airport and it will head back out to New York LaGuardia. And then the one alone Delta aircraft at gate, we have a Delta um, Boeing 737-800. Uh, this aircraft came in from uh, this aircraft came in from Atlanta. Oh, we will be right back guys. Sorry about that, guys, but right here we have an American Airlines Boeing 757-200. Uh, this aircraft came in from Chicago O'Hare. Right here we have an American Airlines Airbus A319 pushing back, uh, going to be heading out to Phoenix. American Airlines Boeing 737-800 getting baggage and passengers on board. For New York Tri-State came in or from New, for, to New York Tri-State International Airport or AS Aviation's airport came in from Los Angeles. And right here we have a United Boeing 737-900. This is a 900, yes, a Boeing 737-900 in the Eco Skies Library. Uh, this aircraft is sorry about that, guys. Uh, it came in from Bryce Augustine International Airport, or Bryce's Aviation and Sirens Airport, and it heart-standed for a couple of hours, so that's why there is no uh, truck or anything, stair truck or anything there. Uh, this is just a one lone baggage uh, carrier. And in a couple of hours, this flight's going to be making a short flight down to Houston, Intercontinental. Right here we have a United, a United Express Ember ERJ-145. This aircraft just pulled into gate, uh, just pulled into the stand here at the regional terminal, came in from Central Florida International Airport or Aviation Footballers Airport. Right here we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. Uh, it is getting passengers on board through the stair trucks and buses and it is getting catered for a high capacity route out to Miami. So that is operating a domestic flight, that's why it's over here at the Beacon Concourse. Moving on to the A, um, or at the C Concourse, sorry, that American was at. Moving on to the, uh, the A and B Concourses, which are international. Starting off here, Gate Alpha 1, we have an Etihad Boeing 777-300ER. This beautiful aircraft is just pulling into gate from Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Air Canada, Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner. Uh, thank you, Air Canada, for going and changing your library, because now i got to get a new model. Literally, just like two months. Sorry about that, guys. Literally just like two months after I buy this model and Air Canada has to go and change their libraries, so uh, most likely you will see a new library Air Canada when Gemini or Phoenix or 
someone else releases one. But anyways, right here we have an Air Canada Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner loading with fuel and passengers for Vancouver. That's, uh, I don't think I've ever sent this aircraft to Vancouver, so she is going to Vancouver. The beautiful KLM Boeing 747-400. This aircraft came in from Amsterdam, Schiphol, uh, just pulled into gate about 15 minutes ago, and, the, and a cleaning truck has arisen to the aircraft. Passengers are still disembarking. Emirates Airbus A380 in the England 2015 Rugby Library being towed to gate, landed in from Dubai. And it is just being towed. Right here we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. This aircraft is going to be making a flight out to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. The American gate. Right here we have a British Airways Airbus A380-800. This aircraft is going to be making a flight out to London Heathrow. Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747-400 taxiing in from London Gatwick. And last but not least we have a Qantas Boeing 747-400 in the Socceroo Library. Uh, this aircraft is going to be making a flight out to Sydney. So guys, we'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. Again, um, this is the last update for like two weeks. Uh, don't worry, I'm not like leaving for a month or anything, just a couple of weeks. Um, for those who are on spring break now, happy spring break to you guys. Hope you all are on vacation. Or if not, hope you all are enjoying looking at your models and messing with your model airport. Or uh, like, yeah, just hope you guys are enjoying your spring break. And yeah, guys, uh, and for those who are going on spring break, have a good spring break. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a wonderful day. Next airport update should be non-subscriber routes. And again, guys, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.